guys. But there you go. Okay. Okay. So we're doing the good person test today. Okay. What is your name? Kathy. Kathy. I'm Benita. I have a sister named Kathy. Nice to meet you. Okay. So Kathy, do you think you're a good person? I think so. Well, we'll find out, okay? Okay. <laughs> do you think you've kept the Ten Commandments? I hope so. Okay. So I'll ask a few questions. Okay. Have you ever in your entire life told a lie? I'm sure yeah, everybody to. tells a white lie. Yeah. <laughs> we do, don't we? So if a person's told a lie, what do we call that person? Um, if I lied, you would say I was a... Sinner, the liar, yeah. <laughs> more specifically. Okay. okay, so have you ever in your entire life stolen anything? And y'all answer this in your head as I'm doing it, okay? okay? Not that I'm aware of, not purposely. Even as a little one, you yeah, see, or something I, I don't okay. consciously. Not consciously. So, yeah. more than likely, probably. Maybe a piece of candy. Yeah, when I, was child. yeah. I, I really yeah. don't know. Right. So, if you have, it would be called a. a person would be called a. a Okay, so, uh, so Kathy, the Bible tells us not to commit adultery, mm -hmm. but Jesus said if, if we look at a person with lust, that we've already committed adultery in our heart. Have you ever done that? Oh, I'm sure. Okay, so Kathy, like myself, uh, good man is to be in a lie, Exactly, <laughs> yes. Well, I wouldn't really explain, <laughs> think so, of myself as that, but okay. I know, but it's that, you know, if we've broken those ten commandments, or those, that's just three of the commandments. Right. So if you stand before the Lord on Judgment Day, mm -hmm. would you be found innocent or guilty of breaking those commandments? Um, well, hopefully he would consider me innocent comparatively. Comparatively? Mm -hmm. Compared to? Uh, to maybe someone else. Right. So, but who would he compare you to? Would he compare you to Mother Teresa? Would he compare you to Hitler? Well, you hopefully to another you know, normal human being like myself. Okay. But, but God is a God of uh, total justice. So, let's say you were in a court of law, mm -hmm. and you were found guilty of a crime okay. in a court of law. If you went to the judge, when, when he found you guilty, and said, well, but if you compare me to other people, I'm really not that bad, but you oh, let I, me go. I see where you're going. Yeah. 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 You would still, well, be, yeah. still be guilty, right? Exactly. Oh, okay. okay. I'm sorry. Okay. Okay. So, um, so, real fast, if someone in the back of the courtroom said, you know what, I'm going to pay that, it's fine. Then be innocent if you paid that debt. If you had 20 years or a $500,000 fine, well, and he paid that fine for you, would, would the law have been met? You mean by paying money, the fine is right. If you had a $500,000 fine or 20 years in prison, and someone in the back of the courtroom said, "I don't want you to go to jail. I'm going to pay that fine," okay, and that fine was paid, mm -hmm. the debt is paid for. And well, that's then, that's how our society works, but as right. far as God works, no. Right. Uh -huh. Well, in all actuality, yes, because Jesus came mm -hmm. and he died to pay that debt. So right. that, that is paid for. Exactly. Yeah. So, if, so in reality, if you if you uh, ask for forgiveness, if you if you uh, confess your sins and you say, "Yes, Lord, I do believe you did do that for me. Mm -hmm. You died on the cross for me, and I accept that, and I turn from the old ways, mm -hmm. and I now read your word and find out what you want of me and follow after that, then the debt will be paid." Right. That's, that's the gist of it all. That sounds okay. great. Thank, Thank you. you. I appreciate it. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to give you this little test first. Okay. Which is the biggest? Mm, looks like the pink is the biggest. Now let's take the blue. <laughs> <laughs> They're actually the same size. <laughs> Go ahead and take that. All right. Okay. So Heather, do you think you're a good person? Sure. Okay. So uh, do you think that you kept the two commandments? Yes, we can. Okay, so I'm going to give you a test, all right? Sure. Okay, so Heather, uh -huh. have you ever told a lie? Have I ever told a lie? Yes, I have told a lie. Okay, as I have too. Yes. We all have, right? We've all said. We have, haven't we? Yes. So if we told a lie, what are we normally called? We if I told a lie, you call me a... A liar. Right, we're not a typical. Okay, so have you ever in your entire life stolen anything? Have I? Yes. So then you just, that, that would be called a... a yeah, that's it. Uh, a thief. It could be a thief. Yeah. Okay. Uh, in the Bible, the Lord tells us not to commit adultery. We know that. Uh -huh. But He also says that if you look at a person with lust, then you commit adultery in your heart. Have you ever heard that before? Yes. Yeah. So, um, have you ever done that? No. You have never done mm -hmm. that. Okay. So, just out of the two commandments, 
Heather. You, by your own admission, you're lying to me. Yes, I am. <laughs> so, if you stand before the Lord on Judgment Day, would you be found innocent or guilty of breaking the Ten Commandments? Oh, I'd be guilty. So, would you go to heaven or would you go to hell? Well, I think I'd go to heaven because I've been saved. That's yeah. awesome. <laughs> I can tell you have to. I knew that was going to be the answer. Well, you're going to tell by your countenance. Yeah. Here. <laughs> well, yeah, you know. Yeah. Yeah, well, we're just out here talking to everybody today. So, what and church church, you go to? Uh, Rock Creek. I was going to say, what church bulletin are we going to be on tomorrow morning on the big screen? You know? Exactly. What church yeah, are you in? Yeah, because we have done that. Alliance Bible Church Alliance. in North Little Rock. It's uh -huh. right across from Burns Park. Uh-huh. Okay. Yeah. Well, yeah, like I said, we've seen these little interviews on our church big screen on Sunday morning, people being interviewed. I thought, I wonder where they find those people. There you know. You can pay one of them. them. <laughs> <laughs> well, thanks for talking oh, with us. I appreciate it. Heather. No problem. You have a good day. You too. Oh, yeah.